Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to A Place Forbidden, an indie horror game about a really freaky library. Or a Boros. The hell, where am I? I definitely didn't fall asleep in this chair. Damn nice chair, though. Um, we have a very interesting scenery. It looks kind of like hell. Let's ignore it. Pretty depressing. Like my soul. Open up all these drawers. Ignore that book so conveniently placed over there behind me. Security camera. Nice painting. Doesn't seem like a very fair fight. Doesn't seem to be working. It's cold in here. Visitors. V? Greetings, visitor. You're more than welcome to sign your name and date your visit in the guest book. Once you've done that, we welcome you to explore the library to your heart's content, so long as it isn't after closing. Once you've had your fill, please let yourself out. You'll find the key to the front door and one of the desks in the study. Hmm. Okay. I'm not really sure what's so special about this library. I can't see a thing. When do we can get this dark out? Ooh, old computers. Doesn't look like it's plugged in. Doesn't like there's... Well, there's a plug. Responsive. Looks like we got a mice problem. Um, there's a flying cup. Last item I was sitting at home, reading a letter from... But the strangest thing, now I can't remember what it was about or who it was sent. Who sent it? Welcome message. From all our staff, welcome. We're glad you're here. The library is located in a picturesque part of Britain, atop a grassy knoll east of Sussex. Many rural townships obviously bereft of their own libraries refer the villagers to the library. It's beloved by all. Peruse our vast stock of fiction, non-fiction, poetry, and everything in between. Chat with friendly librarians and employees, and feel free to spend as long as you'd like reading using our computers. Or just spending time here. We always love new visitors. Did you hear any odd knocking in the corner of the building? Paid no mind. The library's on the older side, and the foundation's place strict some visitors' mind. Perfectly safe. Sure. We both the same book? No. The Library of Ouroboros, great name, is a state-of-the-art facility designed to replicate the rural charm found in many older buildings without associated risks such as buildings are known to accumulate. The building might seem like a strange sight amongst the Wall Street's many towering skyscrapers. I didn't see any out there. But we will leave this to tell me what sets apart. Hmm. Replace. We're glad that you've decided to give us a chance and hope that our stock of books will appeal to you. Obviously, our collection of information isn't so vast as to encapsulate the whole of the internet. Charming aesthetic design of a library. New York. If you hear any strange footsteps, this is the only important part. The rest of this is just... Crap. Don't worry, there may still be construction going on above or below you. As that's uh, the fine print you gotta pay attention to. Does it look much better than I feel? Oh no! That, th that plant spoke to me. Broken. Oh yeah, this one's not working. Cold to the touch. We have a phone? Huh. Spin me right round. Let me throw this stuff out here. Hey. You know, it's not good to make a mess. It's a library. You savages. It's 
to move at all. Feels a little warm to the touch. Which is unusual, because everything else is cold, right? I ain't picking that up. That's probably haunted. It's probably like the trigger right there. Brass key. Thank you for visiting Lander for Boros. Huh. Handle turns, but I can't open it. More trash. Weird, almost all the words are crossed out and the pages are stuck together. Can't open any further. Let me just kind of parse this real quick. Spell it Ouroboros, snake, circular symbol. Let's see. This place is pasted all on the goddamn walls. Tough to avoid that. Last I remember, I was on some occult website thing on the farthest end of the internet past the places that normally dissuade the less curious. I had just a little too much time on my hands. Now I remember falling asleep, now I'm here. The coding said this place is the Library of Ouroboros. I remember reading somewhere about that, but not worth where. If you're reading this, keep an eye out. Something isn't right. Okay, let's cut through all this. Blah, 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 blah. One matter of note. We ask you not to linger after closing or to descend too far into the library's bowels. Some of our books are quite old and very sensitive to ingress of foreign temperatures and moistures. Please understand. Secret ending. Clean up all the trash. The final trash is just yourself. You just put yourself in the trash can. Along with the books and dates, they were checked out. None of them have let you listed. Mushy mush. Screen burn out. I guess we have to pick up that phone. Can we just leave with the key? No, we don't need no phone. Let's go. Always gotta do what the game wants. Except. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the library of Auroboros. We're glad that you've decided to visit our humble institution. Hopefully, you'll find what it is you're looking for. Hope. Please be informed that the library is closing. Since most of our staff are currently away, please lock the door on the way out. We hope you've enjoyed your visit. This can't be right. Oh no. Hello. We'd like to inform you that the library is now closed. Note that it is unlawful to remain on the premises after closing. This is your one and only warning. Great. Great. Poor little tree. It's seen better days. Minister's Doom Act 3, Scene 2. Bernice enters, followed closely by the librarian. Bernice is breathless, looking both exasperated and slightly excited. Oh, no! But my husband will find out about us. He won't stay out forever. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. But shall we retire to the living room if we the speak of such... Unpleasantness as your husband. Yeah, I'm not gonna read any more smut. Let's see. Let's parse this. It's quite a bit of text. Um, for the sake of the LP, I'm gonna kind of just. You can lock this and read it if you want. I'm gonna kind of parse it real quickly. So basically, they're talking about she came into dream, saw the library of Ouroboros. It basically was this one, modern, had the computers and everything. Hearing the slightest scratching of things that shouldn't be, just behind the stones. Okay, so they found it on the website. The Library of Ouroboros, a kind of waking nightmare arrived upon by those too curious for their own good. 
rich in black secrets, rich in dark ideas lost to time, rich in languages from dead races on other planets. The fortunate die, the truly lucky, or perhaps the most unfortunate of all, become tenders for all time, knowing far more than any living being could ever hope to learn, without becoming a permanent and perpetually screaming stain on the face of space-time forever. None have left it unscathed, there are forbidden tomes that would prevent you from breathing should you merely touch them, and the tenders are beyond sanity and jealousy keep their terrible secrets. You search enough to see your final warning. And then the student disappeared. I fear I might be next. So everyone who visited this creepy pasta website all ended up here, essentially. Too smudged. No, it is largely obscured by blood. You can make out only a handful of words. And when the dustier books fell apart in my hands, or were these arcane scribbles? Feels after I threw it away, still not quite uh, right. It's not like something's watching. Pretty shoddy barricades. Someone must have been desperate. Don't like that. Not budging. The computers are the, the lords of the library. That down there looks kind of spooky, but I'm gonna ignore it for the time being. Screwdriver. Um, no, it, it's moving. They're moving. So it's alive? Kind slumber. Oh yeah, there's a lot of text in some of these. Way too long for this LP. So I'll go through it, you're welcome to read it, and I'm gonna get parse information and summarize it by the end. So, nothing that really applies to us. It was just kind of a, a spooky story, per se. That's the best way I described it. And I feel like that's going to be a trend to go with the thematic library theme of this game. Yeah, that it's getting a little tight in there. So what happened to the weird things I saw in the, the back here? I can't help but feel as if I stand before, before the precipice of some terrible reality. Left one room only to come right back to it. Shame there's no place to go but straight ahead. I've hidden a few tools in this room in case the path isn't ahead as I hope it is. If they're not here any more than good news, the path ahead, at least immediately, is probably safe. There's no chance of any hostile enemies. If they're still here, though, well, I hope they're useful to you. To you? You're gonna need all the help you can get, V. Same chair from earlier, isn't it? So, so far I found the screwdriver. Is there another tool I need? So, those books may be hints of what to, um, the code in between all that dialogue. I will come back to them and kind of figure it out at some point. But let's look around just a touch more. What the hell? It looks like someone's stabbing me in the temples. Who? Shouldn't have read the books. B four zero to you. That was supposed to be a number in here. That's what the other number is. B four could be one. Left one. Mushy mush. We've given you chances. Ample warning. You proceed, we threaten. K 
continue on your current path, and they will find nothing left of your head. We swear it. For the last and final time, go back from whence you came. Who says whence? I put my amateur lockpicking skill to the test. Got it. Fantastic! That's, that's up! The window I came through. What? Again? I thought I just went outside. Something about this room is even worse than the last ones. Before there might have been an odd feeling in the air. A certain untraceable scent. But it at least felt like somewhere people had been. Here. Something is definitely wrong. I can barely hear something deeper in this room. Barely perceptible. Crying out in pain. Here goes nothing. We got some high ceiling. Do you know how much the air conditioning bill will be for this place? Atrocious. I'm, I'm feeling chills just thinking about it. Like, oh my god. No wonder it has heating problems. Like, no, seriously. You know how expensive this would be? There's no way I'm in the same library. I was earlier, right? This room's massive. Just like imagine dusting this. You'd have to like hire workers. These supernatural folks like never think about this stuff. They look like proper contractors. I don't care if you're some kind of elder god or something. You're not the elder god of ignorance. Ooh, these things are always really long. Mister... You plead for mercy? I don't really get the, the storyline point there, per se. It looks like it's connected to the previous one. Okay, I mean, gains this. But at the same time, I'm not sure if it connects directly... Up. Oh. There's something in the darkness. Those are hands. Wrong turn. There was only one turn I could have made. Oof, the ceiling got higher somehow. Oh, I could push it out of the way. Some kind of commentary on voyeurism? On the failures, word has it that those who pass the Librarian's Bleak Test are grand knowledge beyond the ken of any other. But you... You want to know about those who failed. Each fate is as miserable as the next, but very well. Some few are allowed to retain their sentience but lose all mobility. Their spirits are torn from their bodies, with the latter being cast away. The Librarian takes these spirits and compresses them. That's right. Those tomes you've seen lining this place, those books you've ignored, Many of them are once like you, poor fools lost in a foreign place. Then there are the husks, shambling bodies that move without direction to the library's infinite halls, searching for heads that have long since been taken from them. Are their souls still here, locked away in some dark forgotten keep? Potentially, but they will search fruitlessly and forever. These fates are equally terrible, forever trapped in place, forever cursed to wander. But there's one worse than both. Especially pointed failures, those that attracted librarians' knowledge who fail in the end, are given specially pointed punishments. Some say in the library's deepest depths, the walls shudder and shake and palsy of life as you have died long ago. And some say that these walls are formed of those promising few who could not prove themselves. But then any egress from this place and death or otherwise, perhaps, perhaps not. But I'll certainly never see it. I'm in a bit of a toss-up. So, 
The excessive text is both thematically fitting due to the library nature, but at the same time, despite me usually reading text and you kind of go into detail of it, I have a, a lack of desire to read some of the more fluff ones. And maybe that's part of the point, I'm not sure. This hole, it was quite literally made for me. What, what is this place? I certainly like the atmosphere of the game and the uh, the format per se. Oh god damn it! What the hell's going on? Why am I back here? Like a beetle in an antlion's trap, you flail your way deeper. A beetle. It is gratifying to watch you wriggle your way to your doom. We so rarely have new visitors. Perhaps we won't spatter you across these walls. Perhaps we'll allow you to stay. Join the others. It is what you want, is it not? Made it to this room, and I'm not going any further. Caught a glimpse of him. Bastard that's been talking in my ear. He was wearing a dark cloak, so I couldn't see much more than his figure. The shape of his head wasn't human. Makes sense. Can't stop capitalizing his name. Psychosomatic? Or did he do something to me? He, his, 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 he is... I know I won't be able to stay here forever. I know he's waiting for me just a little beyond the door on the other side of this room. Because I got a date with this crevice. And I think it's predictable, preferable to what I think he's got in mind for me. If you're reading this, you should probably join me down here. Whatever's ahead won't be pretty. I don't know what this is, but it sure doesn't look safe. Still locked. I wonder if there's even anything behind this door. You wouldn't even be here had you not been so damn curious. Only caught a letter from a friend and you woke up here, yeah? Nothing you did. I know better. You searched for the library at home. Actually tried to pull actively tried to be ensconced by the pool of the black knowledge in forgotten places on the internet, in the dusty cabinets of the world. You were looking for something. We both know why. It was all because of that letter. But it's, it isn't just guilt that moves you, is it? It's that hungry feeling, that desperate wish to know all there is before the grave wraps its gnarled hands on your legs and pools. Though mine has been lost to the ages, I can sense your heart beating. In fact, everything in and around the library can. Poor stupid bastard. If you've recognized what forces you've caught the attention of, I think you'd go the way the one before you did. It's impossible. I'm sure there was a door here. It's gone now. Spooky. Something about this room is unnatural. You would say that. I don't like it at all. Clock tablet. Fire tablet. Snake. Bear. Alright, bear with me for one second. Looks like the phases of the moon. Whose oldest sin, perhaps older and had lived for a long time. Alone, rather. Over as many years he had accumulated much wealth, knowledge, fond memories. With the dark halls of his mansion, he's paced in the dark. So I think that this right here is the important oldest sin. So this is a puzzle. Let me do with time. We should have probably remembered which tablet this was. Car tablet? 
And I'm also locked in. Okay. 16. Oldest sin. Middle age. Child. Adulthood. I should have really kept track of which ones I grabbed. I can kind of guesstimate from here. There we go. The safe contains a lump of blackened flesh. It's hard to even be surprised anymore. Dark comes crushing down. It swallows you whole, swallows you whole. Oh god, the light goes dim one by one. You piqued our curiosity. We read your book, discovered that for a mortal, you're rather unique. Oh god, you've discovered my anime a sins. A human might consider a primate. You almost remind us of ourselves. Though, of course, we'd never stoop to your level. Well, I am stooping right now. Dorian Gray. There's definitely some cool imagery going on, though. That thing in the safe, I think I recognized it. to see. Something's blocking me from getting to that door. You should find your way out soon. You won't want to be there when the light fades in. Yeah, this is not good. Walk around the door. Oh no, it's more to computers go to die. Organic ceiling fans. Okay. That's a new one. Oh. Hey. Well, thank God I'm finally back where I entered. And they get the hell out of here. Making it be that easy. 
never is. Oh no, the graphics have degraded. Frack! Oh, good. You're finally here. Certainly kept the suspense going. Stay here right away, Pedro. We shall be with you shortly. And once we're there, we'll turn your form into something more palatable. More arms, we think. More legs. The eyes are dead. Stay right there. No. I think we're gonna take the stairs down. Never mind, they lead him into the void. Just jump! Alright, that's weird. Listen carefully. Don't listen to them. If you can help it, you and me were birds of a feather, I can tell. Better to pull the covers over your head and cover your ears, because you hear something you don't want to. Sit down and let the inevitable wash over you. I take this feat to turning into one of those husks. Gives me the shivers. The only help you can get. Listen carefully. Three. Rolodex. So is it order? Oh. So the order of what their dialogue was probably goes to a lock somewhere. But I did not come across that lock yet. We did get a Rolodex. Whatever that's worth. Uh, weird. Oh, this is different. Yep. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> I like the staircases, though. They're a nice touch. It'd be a lot easier to get around here if you could organize everything somehow. Okay, we have a Rolodex. We need more organizational items. Well, it's small as stairs. I'm assuming each hole maybe takes me to a different place. So even though I'm just, well, following to the void, it's not quite the void. Yeah. Tablet one. Peeling an orange to see red beneath beneath. Cabinet, that's an organizational item. Opening your closet door to be met by maggots arriving like tentacles. Tablet number three. Yeah, you little bastard, this is what things look like. Here anyway. I spent a lot of time in this hellhole, and I'm willing to bet if you dug up the full anywhere, this is what you'd find. 
eyes, pulsating flesh, red guts, blood. That's what I think. I think this is all there is. A place like this without cease couldn't exist on its own. An empty nothingness. No, if it's going to make up all this space, if it's going to contain so much knowledge, is it so far-fetched that something might have changed in its makeup? They might have come alive. This room is a trap. What reflexes, re, what relaxes one who, like yourself, strays from the presence of others, number one. Number two, the answer lies not here, but somewhere locked away. Hmm. Truth in Eternal Solitude, Tablet 5. That sounds important. Ah. Uh, tablet 2. Turning away a blade of grass for blood to bubble from the earth. Can I reach out? <laughs> no. See, I think these are people. Because we saw like a square shaped person earlier. Oh well. I had a vague guess of what it could be. But you also can brute force it pretty well. I know more than the others, but I won't tell you. He spent too much time alone, faking an accelerated downfall. A terrible thing befell that woman he claimed to have loved. It consumed him. Consumed his every waking moment, whether or not he had been loved back. The depression lost him his job and his home, turning a sad wreck of a human being into a sadder, hollower thing. His focus, his obsession never strained. He was gone from his life, and as far as he was concerned, that was all that mattered. Even when a family member took him in and sheltered him, he all but ignored them, so that trapped with himself was he. Huh. What did I gain from that? Uh oh. Things are changing back here. Okay, so here's this one. Listen carefully. Nothing can harm you. You, you just stop thinking. Play dumb all you like. The librarian only knows your body, inside and out. He spent all his time searching and eventually found his goal. There are places, even in the digital world, where things not meant for mortal eyes lurk. He got only the slightest glimpse of one such place, and it was enough. The eyes of the librarian were upon him. From that point forward, what happened was destined to happen. And worst of all, he would never find the knowledge he sought. And it's better that way. So now we just need organizational. And things have really changed back here. Looking around, making sure I'm not missing any items. Are you? Oh, great.
It's locked. If this place were a mine, it would not be pure. Look into the filth to proceed. The filth? You mean back in the main library? Or those hands? Or do you mean in this area? Just, you just wanted me to get the brass key. Was that it? <laughs> Check me. It seems pure, but there are cracks. Memories of others' misdeeds of evil committed. You will have to face these memories to proceed. Face these memories. There's our last organizational. Joy of the Recluse. He has searched day and night for a way to ease the pain. Pain of his own doing, and he has yet to find it. Only a librarian knows what lies in store for him for his journey. We will not speak of that, but only the recluse himself. He finds joy in strange and uncertain things, especially that which can be discovered, but tearing away the covering of inno innocuous things to reveal what lurks beneath. The natural world, especially, offers these strange delights. His only fear is of the wretched fly and its horrible offspring, and though he knows it not of the Limerian, as all truly fear them deep down within. I have no idea what they're trying to tell me, though. You're watching me. Maybe a number of objects or something weird. To be eight here, four there, three, four. Eight, four, three, one. Yeah, so it's just the main object per se. You little shot. The gun had done off already. Now I'm trapped here. Damn, repeat this shite like I'm a goddamn tape recorder. If you had an ounce of remorse. You dash your brains out on the nearest war. He was never much good at forming connections with people. This time wasn't any different. That woman who'd walked into his life spent a night and a half with him and recognized him for what he was. An empty, half-formed piece of sentient scum. Naturally, he took eons more from the brief tryst than he ever intended. Spent days upon days picking. Their every second to give her apart. Think about what he could have done differently. That once he even consider what he should have known in the first place. But there just wasn't anything to him. He wasn't enough person for himself, let alone another. Hmm. <laughs> We're in the Matrix right now. What is the Matrix? Don't fully remember which one was which. I knew you'd come. Farewell, I'll speak. He was always inclined towards solitude. Not that he had any choice in the matter. In fact, if he not perhaps... Had perhaps solitude would not have been his lot, but he was terrible of words, worse of speaking. It wasn't so much a matter of laughter as expense. It was merely a curiosity, an ingrown strange thing, vaguely uncomfortable but otherwise without note. There was one exception to this lonely existence. As he aged, he found himself in the po position of an archivist, surrounded only by dust, dead things, dead words. Though he had grown used to solitude, he hated over burning white passion. Plus, when a graduate student about his age came to plumb the dry and dead things, he forced himself to strike up a conversation with her. 
To his delight, she returned his words, and for the first time in ages, he felt his heart beat a little faster. I guess it's tied to that librarian story, the romance novel, per se, that we kept seeing. Maybe it's not a weird Lovecraftian Elder God library. Maybe it's a psychological one. A library of the mind that you're forever trapped in. He was aware enough to be jealous. Though she rebuked his advances. Though she suggested the two of them never see each other again. It was, of course, not enough for him. He would come by daily, nightly. When she locked the door, he would continue to bang on it. When she called the police, he still found ways to watch from afar. Until one night, that is, when he watched the unknown foreign shape enter her abode. Though he could only barely make the silhouette out, he could tell it was a man, and that was enough to send him into a rage. The authorities arrived too late on the scene to save anyone, though the fire was contained. The victims died of smoke inhalation. Somehow, they hadn't been able to open the front door. The screwdriver keeping it jammed was no longer the scene of the crime, of course. At the end? When next opened my eyes, I found myself on an empty road in a desolate place. There was a faint ephemeral quality to everything. It didn't fill me with confidence. In the back of my head, I felt a thought burn, like a fallen ember from the end of a cigarette. Was I free? Or was I still trapped within the library's vast expanse? How could I tell even if I arrived home and everything was as it had been? How could I know if the librarian's voice wouldn't just be on the other side of every door, of every window, forever? I guess it doesn't matter either way. At the end of everything, I never found what I'd come to the library to gain. For the rest of my life, I think, I'll find myself wondering what I just missed. Perhaps a failure was a blessing, and place I find myself left. Perhaps there was something even worse waiting for me, if I'd only look a little deeper. But I doubt it. So I guess that's the end of Ouroboros. Storyline wise, I'm. I think I have a gist of it. So. It looks like some of those really long novels were re basically retelling a, uh, a kind of weird triangle, uh, you know, romantic triangle. So there's like a librarian, there's a girl, and there's another lover. And I guess there was a murder-suicide. But then, where does the weird creepypasta internet sucks you in things, turn you into organ stuff start? And that's what I don't fully understand. Is it a ghost that just got that strong? Was he such a good librarian he tapped into some other outer worlds? Maybe he haunts the library of the internet now, permanently, I don't know. But, I'll say I like the imagery. I like the, like, basically I like the imagery and the puzzles and the library itself. I think this is very much, I know why. Because it's supposed to fit with the theme of your reading books, you're in a library. But, I've never been extremely fond of the, uh, extremely long note structure. I think Amnesia really helped popularize that way back in the day, and it's stuck around since then. And sometimes notes can be executed right, but they gotta be timed in a certain way and have the right context. Outside of that, I feel like notes are very much a pacing break. And some people may disagree with me on that, but it's kind of, you have a cool scene here, like, it's a weird organ library, for example, in one spot. Or... Some of the other kind of very surreal little set pieces, or like the library maze. And you're kind of wandering around, you're like, Oh, this is kind of mysterious. I'm, I'm kind of uh, overwhelmed by the, the scale and everything. And then you stop. You stop to read a book. And it wasn't like a, a quick, brief note. It, it was kind of hefty. And if I think if I had the choice, 
rather than have it be a note you would sit and read, I would have it be a vocal. Like, as you walked through, you would hear a narration or something, like someone narrating a book, like an audio book. And then I would have had the only notes been V's notes, the people who have been here before. Because they've, in my head, they've arrived here, they've been writing notes to try to help people survive, or they've given up. And then everything else should just be like an audio book. This would maintain your pacing, and also add a thematic contrast where the librarian's quite literally in your head, and you're basically going to read his books whether you like it or not. So it's in the sense of everything in your head's an unreliable narrator, or the, the antagonist, and everything in a note is helpful. And then you can throw a twist at the end where you get an unhelpful note or something towards the end there. Because this game did have a really good atmosphere, you know, it was kind of building up something, but I was getting kind of pulled out by the notes and everything. So, just kind of reiterating what I said, I feel like I would have toned that down to let the atmosphere shine a little more. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play A Place Forbidden. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.